Good morning. Revolutionary technology is coming to a classroom near you. I don't care if you're a medical school student or Today, high school student. Today, the company student. behind real ready. world virtual reality is right here in it studio feels with us. Like it's right in front of you. Sixth grader Christian Hernandez is using the new computers called Z Space to learn. It lets you immerse yourself in the experience. Okay. And using the stylus, you're able to reach into the experience and grab the objects and interact with them right in 3D space. Anyone? Anyone? Oh. Z-Space was so great because we've worked with computers and then we've seen movies in 3D, but we've never got to really interact in 3D, so it's the first time you can really, you're almost a part of the actual machine. Our goal here in Plainview was to put these machines in front of as many students as possible within this one year. So when we found out about it, we all like, trampled each other to get towards the door <laughs> to see who can like, get on the computer first. Put on our 3D glasses, we were just all like, wow and we just started seeing what we can create. And the lesson planning that went behind this, it really brings it to life. I can have kids engaged. Our fifth grade teachers during professional development from ZSpace were able to collect and put together a folder with all the lab experiences that they wanted to share. So now they have everything ready to rock and roll when they're in there with the students. You can get a lot more done in your 42 minute period. Setting up some of these labs would be impossible in those kind of time frames, but you can walk into ZSpace and have the thing saved for the students all ready to go. Our fifth graders are working with the application called Newton's Park, and that's the same application that the AP Physics students use was Newton's Park. So it's interesting to see how it's being used at a high school AP level and in a fifth grade level. Sixth grade is using Franklin's lab. Then they're going to go back into the tech shops and actually design their own electricity boards. Then they're going to go back to ZSpace and create these electricity boards that we would never be able to afford or be able to let them do for safety reasons. What I love about this is the collaborative approach in the sense that I have two students, one with a stylus and the other student with the glasses on being a part of that lesson and they need to work together to problem solve. You can see what works and what doesn't work. Everyone's learning together. Those inquiry skills I think are second to none with a device like this. to understand these concepts in their own way and be able to articulate these concepts right, themselves and we're using their own words instead of uh, reading back from the, from the textbook. The technology is made by a local company that initially built these computers for product designers, but they quickly found out they have an even more special place in the classroom, helping kids almost literally reach out and grasp difficult concepts. The fascination, the amazement, like, wow, I could really do this. That's even more important for these kids. You see, this is a special education class. All kids who've experienced frustration learning the traditional way. Being in here, it makes it easier to address those needs. I mean, they, they can actually move at their own pace. And in their own languages. These are the lungs, which are pulmones in Spanish. Three quarters of the kids here at Matheson Middle School speak a language other than English at home. The principal dreams of a day when that won't hold them back. Very few Hispanic and Latino students are part of these technology, uh, Silicon Valley uh, careers and prof uh, professions in science. Hopefully with this, they will get interested enough to pursue those careers. In Los Altos, one of the, one of the things we're trying to provide students is really meaningful, relevant learning experiences. We want the teacher to come away from the front of the room. We want them to be more of a facilitator and being able to interact with the students as well as the students interacting with one another. Being able to understand what an abstract concept looks like in, in real life is uh, something that I think every teacher's after. Uh, this space really helps to provide that. Z-Space is a sort of three-dimensional computer. I was carrying a jet engine when I was using Z-Space. You can see inside of it. And also you can like manipulate it in different ways. You can't see inside of them when you, you see them in real life. The first time that they sat down and started actually interacting on the systems, there was a constant conversation happening between them. Um, they were excited, they were sharing, they were looking on each other's systems. We have some teachers that are now exploring using ZSpace with national monuments in social science. We have teachers using it as a design tool. Together with the LASD team, we're helping to realize the potential of ZSpace in the classroom and craft the experience in a way that benefits their learning. It's really exciting to see where it's going to go.